guys, how's it going? It's Farmer Nick. Welcome back to another video on the tournament, episode 2 on Honeydew. So what we're going to be doing today is More Farmer and I are both in here. Uh, More Farmer is also making a video right now of him tedding, all that stuff over there. So what we're doing is we are down kind of in our grass area and we are just mowing this all up. We're making the hay bales for the horses. More has already picked the corn and the soybeans that time got sped up apparently. Um, so yeah, I'm in here right now mowing stuff with More. And then later tonight, we're going to get the oats and everything else off. And then probably everyone else is going to jump in here and want to get their stuff off. I'm not sure if a lot of people got their stuff off or not. But if they don't, we might turn around and help them if they want help. Or help some... I know uh, Spencer TV's farm, they've got all their stuff done. They were in here this morning going. And I was busy working on a whole bunch of other stuff. Working on different maps and stuff here this morning. All morning. So I just jumped in here about supper time and I've been working since. And I'm probably going to work till I'd like to say morning. So, it's going to be another couple hours in here, me just giving her. I'm getting all this little bit of short rows. So, uh, more apparently accidentally deleted the farm. They had this tournament set up uh, probably a couple weeks ago. And more accidentally deleted the farm on New Year's Day in Spencer TV's uh, stream. So, apparently, that's why, if you guys are curious about that where the gravel and all that stuff is, that's where they had an extra set of grain bins there. But that all uh, got disqualified. So I'm just going to kind of work on this kind of triangle back in here so more can keep moving. He's probably going to run out of stuff here shortly. Um, I'm trying to mess with OBS, guys, so let me know how things are. Um, am I still too quiet? I know my last couple of videos have been. And I hope I'm trying to fix it with this new mic and everything. Just let me know. I'm trying to mess with OBS. I'm looking up my uh, problems on YouTube too. So that's whatever happens when you're when you're looking to try and fix something. Always stress YouTube. That's what I have always done. And I will even go watch random people, and I will just pull it up that I'm not really familiar with, and I will just to learn how to do it, right? Because I don't want to. I want to know how to do it and get it done with. That way I'm not sitting there struggling and waiting and waiting and waiting and then I finally know how to do it. But it's all right. So we're just gonna mow a whole bunch here. We got a whole bunch of hay ground to do. Um, yeah, we don't have access to this land. It's kind of weird. You guys can see our outline of where we own and where we don't apparently. It's kind of really weird. I would have I would have hoped it liked so you've been able to mow, mow like kind of this side of the road. I would have wished they would have set it up like that, but it is what it is. Well, that's kind of smooth, so we don't have to put a headland across there. All right, let's drop this bad boy down and let's keep her going. So it's looking like you guys enjoyed that farm tour video, but I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching the farm tour video. Um, yeah, don't forget to share that with your family and friends uh, about the farm tour. You guys want to show them a little bit of farm tour and teach them a few things or two about farming after you learn that video. Or even after, even if you honestly watched any of my videos and you learned something, let me know what you did learn. You guys, uh, non-farmers, or even... Even farmers as it is learn stuff each day. I still learn stuff. Everyone's still learning different things, right? So let's see how much we can mow up here. Because it's going to be a little finicky up here. I know it is. Because I know I was having troubles when I came around the corner. I'll show you guys to see it shortly. Wow. What is with it? i got to have you guys around here more often and it seems to work. Awesome. It's like we're not even having a problem. There, we're in that problem, but that's all right. So let's work on this side here that I started here earlier. Moore's already got that tedded away. He's running that 6155M there, and he's just giving her. And I'm just gonna run the big crone M. Yeah, big crone M450 here. So that's what I'm going to run. It looks like they were already out here once, uh, tedding up stuff and getting all that stuff kind of mowed up. And looks like they had some stuff out here that 
has already been tetted once and just left it out here. But we're going to re-tet it and make this into square bales here very shortly. So there'll be probably of us working on this and then we'll be also tackling oats here later tonight. We're just going to get a lot of stuff done, Moore and I. You know, um, this is about a three months tournament, so we'll see who the winner is. It's going to be kind of fun doing a long tournament, not just a week, right? So you're basically going to get the whole feel of the game. You'll help people out off and on. You're going to get like a full operation of cows and stuff going if you're going to have cows and stuff too. So that's going to be a nice thing right there. Let's back this guy up. <laughs> Goes right through the shed. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Why not? That short row is done. Now let's switch over here. Drop her down, let's go. So how fast can we mow? It looks about like 15 mile an hour. That's pretty good speed I'd say. Especially for mowing hay. I think we probably run with the disc buying probably about five or seven mile an hour cutting mowing hay at least. Somewhere in there. Four, five, six, seven, somewhere in there. I can't remember guys, honestly. You know, my memory's kinda short for all these weird goofy things. Looks like he's getting out for something. I don't know. I'll just keep giving her here. Nice water tower kind of a placeable there. Uh, do you guys want me to maybe go around and show everyone else's farm and stuff? You guys maybe want me to do a video like that? I just go around and we'll if you get permission, I can just drive around and show everyone what they got. See what they all got. That way you guys can see a little bit more about the sermon. I might do that one of these days too. But I'll probably do it one of the mornings that no one is on. Last time I did that in 15 on my channel. So if you guys want to see some footage of what I did on the farming tournament um, squads, I have lots of footage on that on my channel, The Game Bros. You can look that up if I forget to post it in the description. More likely I'll forget, but uh, hopefully I'll remember to get that in there. I wonder how many more rows of this stuff they got going on over here. But I don't think a lot more. But I know there's a lot more hay on the other side of that 7R back there. I've already went over and looked at that. But I'm not going to tackle that grass yet. Just for the sake of it. I don't want to mow grass all day long. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But if GPS was here. Oh yeah. It'd be pretty fun. But it's not really fun. That was weird. Oh, it just kind of bunched up there. I don't know. Let's see if it does it going back. No. Nope. It's a little strange. If any of you guys know what that is, it's probably just like the map glitching, I'm starting to think. I hope that's all what it is. Um, I don't know. I've never, ever really seen it happen before either. So, we'll just keep going ahead um it'd be kind of really nice what we probably could do for the next set of mowers that we do buy is buy another set of three point so we put them on the front of a 7r and pull the tether right behind it too and then one guy would have to go around and ted some whatever the crone doesn't but i think there's a crone out there right now that has a hitch on the back that you should be able to pull the tether so i'll have to see if i can find that but that'd be another kind of a cool mod to have right now we have 200 two hundred and six thousand dollars so we got a little bit of cash flow we sold all that more of his opinion here and he sold all that stuff but yeah I don't think you guys want stuff on here every day because I really don't want to post a video of this stuff every day there's nothing down about it but I do want to carry on with my um, Wisconsin map I like doing that map over there. I like that map. Just uh, the layout is and everything. We're slowly working on it. There's lots of stuff that 
we've been doing on there. We're getting ready to chop corn. I found a lot better fields to chop corn on there and everything. So you guys will have to wait tomorrow and see what happens over there. So we're barely keeping ahead of more here. I wonder how fast he's going. Oh, it looks like it's being glitches here in spots too. That he can't tet it. He was saying something about that earlier. It kind of sucked. We also added in the John Deere DB90 that came out and also the John Deere 2730 Dish Ripper is finally out here. So those are two new mods that are on the server. Just a little. We're not going to be much longer here mowing. Uh, I think we got a wind rower in there. We got that little dinky thing. That's alright. Better than nothing. So I guess we're going to have a... More or I will have a long day of just mowing or uh, raking everything. So I might tackle that. I don't know what else of a smaller tractor I guess we got. I guess we got seven. Alright. So we'll probably end up putting that 6M back on the, when it's done 10 here, we'll throw it right on the wind rower. And then I'll pull around, take some duels off a tractor, and run the baler on. The baler, put the stack wagon on another 8R, because we got like four or three different 8Rs on here. Uh, I think like one's an 8370R, one's an 8245R, and one's an 8400R. So we got three different ones. This is, those tractors are by custom modding and they are awesome. And I don't know which tractor I like better, the 6M or the 8R. I never can really get that one figured out. It's kind of weird, but it's whatever. Those, it's, those two are really neck and neck for me to get figured out. But in-game tractors, my in-game favorite tractor is probably going to be that 6M that Moore's driving right there. Either that or the 8RT. One of those two. Either one of them will work. Might end up getting cows going here shortly too. Just for the sake of it, we're going to have all this hay. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Let's get cows going, get manure going. I really want to start spreading manure here soon. I don't know what it is, but I just really want to use that coon new... Coon, uh, newer spreader there. Really bad. I really, really want to use it. A little glitch there, it looks like it. Mord was telling me this the other day, the other night how he made it. He got too lazy to go. Not too lazy, but... This is what happened. So they made a nice hole down here. So you can just drive under the fence to go to the placeable refills over here. So this thing needs to be carved down on a better slope. I'll have to work on that with the train editor one of these days, but I'm not going to really get into that, and I don't really want to take my chrome big M down there. I was afraid to get stuck, and I don't want to, I want to be able to get back out, right? Kicker in row gear again, and let's go. I think more likes uh, green. He does drive a lot of green tractor stuff on his farm in real life. But I don't know, he likes, must like, he must have been dying of that color of green. He had to get his pickup trucks and everything all green too. So, that's another uh, feature I see there. Uh, we got like, what, four different pickup trucks? Um, I'll also, so who's on our team now? There is Brett. You guys seen, you guys might not know Brett too well, but Brett has helped squad out. And he has, I've played with Brett quite a bit back when I did play the squad too, and I started out with him. Um, so there's Brett, Moore, Demon, Carson, and I all are in here. And JM and Moore and I are the only three left in here. So, not sure where everyone is. Surprising, but it's whatever. Get that bit done. back up and get over. I'm not taking a half width here because I want to take a full width, get this done and over with because I'm not going to be sitting here and waiting. Great, because I want to get this done as fast as possible. That way we are not sitting here taking half widths and everything because I got to stay ahead of more. Because more is like, what, 
twice the size as me. Probably about that or a little less maybe. But I just want to get this done quick as possible and get out of here so more can get her done quicker. I don't want to, I want to keep more going as fast as I can. That way we're getting it tedded, wind road and get the heck out of this field, get it off the field. Run a little bit of in cab, I guess. I don't really like the in cab. I like the out cab better. Looks like we got about one width right there, come back down of the little short rows. And then it looks like we're into the long rows finally. So awesome. Barely missed that header trailer there. We got her all good. I think there's a bit up between field seven, five and all of them. I think we can probably go up there and crouch for some more grass. We might as well get as much as grass as possible because then we could turn around and sell it for more money, more cash flow if we needed to. Um, we're not really short on money, but there's a few things that we do want to get in the server. We are really saving up for field 21 over here. That way we can get that one, or we might wait and just get a smaller field. I don't know, we'll see, but Moore and I were talking about saving up for that field, and I think it's like four mil or something, you know what I'm saying? But it's not gonna take long at all between if we're gonna get cows going, milk, manure, helping people out around here. We'll get her done pretty quick. Looks like this Chrome Big M is getting pretty dirty pretty quick. Um, I know the 8R, that custom modding's 8R has a weird uh, dirt texture. The tires get really, really dirty quick. Kind of sucks, but I guess that's how they made it. I think the tire, the dirt anime, an at animation is a little bit tricky to do. I don't know, I'm not a real modder, so I couldn't tell you. But I imagine you guys are probably know a little bit of knowledge about that stuff. Is it pretty hard to kind of do that ton of stuff? Let me know. Ooh, brakes sucking there. Brakes didn't turn too good there. Go down here and get this bit. A little bit of a grass strip here. A little bit of lag around this cow barn here, I see. We don't need to go down there, it's a little rough. Turn around, go back over here. Better not chop those oats off. Arthur might get a little salty there. He planted them all the other night. If you guys are wondering what's going on with that yellow kind of a strip in the field, we also have, I'll show you guys here what we got growing on. So we got the oats, then we got wheat, and then we got canola, and then we got corn and soybeans. We're doing a test plot in the middle of the field to see what yields pretty good. Compared, we want to see what the difference between soybeans and canola, because those two are the highest two are in the game here selling. So we want to see what one yields better, and we're going to grow it more often just to get more cash flow. Gosh, I'm tripping over where it's here tonight. But I kind of wish that you could kind of mow down like, the oats and stuff like that for feed because sometimes in real life you would have to turn around if they get to a point you would want to mow them up for make them as hay. 
right? We had to end up doing that to one of our outfield and the one outfield that we had. We had to turn around and do it to that. It was a little bit weird because we did honestly need the oats. We didn't, we weren't really crowning for him, but we're probably going to have to just kind of tear up a field or just no till wheat or oats in somewhere and get some oats growing somewhere probably next year for the horses and stuff to mix up the grain. So we're going to need some more oats coming up shortly. So this is going to be probably our last trip of mowing down here, and then we're gonna I'm gonna zip back and get all that down in here. But I'll do that later here yet tonight. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.